Hello folks, I'm OwensBack33 and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Minish Cap Episode 13. We're going to start off the episode here right now by fusing kinstones with uh, Muto here. I don't know, he's, he's one of the carpenter guys in, uh, in Ocarina of Time and in uh, Majora's Mask if you want to go there. <laughs> but anyway, that opened up a little uh, thing there, uh, which is pretty useful. Uh, one second here. There's actually, remember last episode I was saying, episode 12, I was saying there was a fusion up here and it didn't work? Well, it does work. It just might, I might have to leave the house and go back in. Okay, there we go. So, and I've also found out that some, how someone was saying how there's equivalent kinstone fusions. Oh, sorry, that was Zycap who said that. Uh, I've also been noticing that, uh, like, even some of them are, like, you can get to multiple people and they'll give you the same one. So I don't know if that, like, if I fuse with this guy, I think someone else, I think in my practice file, uh, I think activate that treasure chest for me. So maybe it must be a little bit different. Uh, maybe it's kind of random uh, what rewards get activated. I'm still going to try to do all the kinstone fusions that I can. Uh, this guy also fused. Did I fuse with this guy last episode? Because, uh... He does. Uh, maybe... Maybe not. Oh, this guy does. Alright, Mac. Alright, Mac, what are you gonna do for me? So this episode is gonna be, uh, finishing up Kinstone Fusions here. Uh, as well. Yeah, see? So some of these... Because I definitely know that, that that hole there, I remember when I was practicing, uh, one of the guys in Minish Village opened that up, so... That's kind of neat. Uh, I'm going to show off a few things besides just kinstone fusions in this episode. Uh, one thing is in here. Uh, this little tree is home to what you do with all the mysterious shells in the game. Basically, these shells turn into figurines. And uh, if you've ever played Super Smash Bros. Uh, Melee in particular, uh, there's a little trophy uh, drawing game where you put X of, or yeah, you put X amount of coins into like a vending machine. And you sometimes get a new trophy out. And basically, the more you do it, uh, the more coins you need to put in to get a new trophy. But that's the works the same in this. So you get figurines. So that's uh, Griegel and the Ghost, uh, which we haven't met yet. And hopefully, we can by uh, this episode. The thing is, in order to meet him, I have to do a kinstone fusion, which I'm unable to do right now because I'm lacking the proper red kinstone to do it. So that kind of blows. Uh, the the kinstone fusion's in this house, by the way, this yellow house. Uh, so there's gonna be a few things I do besides just kinstone fusions, uh, but mainly kinstone fusions. I think this kid will fuse. Yeah, this guy here, Lolly, he will fuse kinstones with you. So make sure you do this. I don't know if there's like a time limit, but make sure you do this one. I can't remember uh, what, I think it's just like a treasure chest. I don't know if it's money or a uh, kinstone piece. I hope it's, I hope I find a red one, a red kinstone piece soon. I know one of these guys will fuse kinstones too. See, I'm just fusing all over the place here. So yeah, writing down a reward guide didn't really help me, but writing down who will fuse with who really did help me out. Alright, what we got here? Another treasure chest. I think these red uh, treasure chests, I think that's where we'll find kinstone pieces, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the mailman eventually fuses with you. He's an important one. Like, I'm pretty sure he's the only one. Oh, here's the bakery. Didn't we go in here last episode? Yeah, I think we did, but we didn't. Uh, you can buy stuff, and sometimes it'll heal your health, and uh, sometimes it'll have kinstones in it. I think just green ones. Oh no, it's blue one. Awesome. Let's buy all of them. Why not? Who knows, maybe we'll get the red kinstone we need, so... We'll buy this. I don't know if there's a, uh... If only one of these at a time has it or not. But... So yeah, I don't really have anything to discuss this episode. Uh... So remember, leave your comments in, t in the, uh in the bottom there if you want uh, me to talk about something. I do have a, like a shout out to give. 
Uh, last week, starting Sunday, uh, I have a, a podcast group that's Blue Blazing Demon, myself, and TM Sonic 1228. Yes, yeah, so maybe only one of those at a time that has a consume piece. So we started a podcast, and it went really well. We released it on Sunday, and I want to give a shout out to that. I, I did a video about it on uh, like Friday or Saturday or something. And, uh, and, oh, I keep saying, oh, a lot. I'll try to stop that. It went really well. We're going to be hopefully releasing a podcast every Sunday. That's the plan, anyway. So, if you want more information on that, I'm just going to link you to the main website. Because uh, from the website, it links all of our different areas like YouTube, Twitter, and of course, the podcast itself. And there's forums there to discuss stuff, uh, gaming stuff. Alright, so, yeah, we can fuse with the king here. I wanted to get this out of the way here. Then I don't have to worry about it. So we discuss gaming stuff. It also, the forums are also allow you to ask questions that we'll use in later podcasts. So, that should be, uh, good times. Where's this now? It's Hyrule's... Oh, we're not going there forever. Like, actually, we're not getting to that treasure chest for a long time. So... It's possible that maybe depending on how many green kinstones you fuse, maybe the different awards. Like it doesn't depend on who you fuse it with. It's like if you've used green kinstone version two three times, it'll open up this reward. I'm I'm guessing that might be the instance. Not completely sure though. I'm not really sure on how kinstones completely work. So on in terms of rewards, I know how they work in terms of how to do it. And I definitely know the red ones, uh, at the very least, are specific uh, to different things. Is there anything down here? Yeah, there's a piece of heart down here. Uh, if you go through that door at the bottom, uh, there's like water, and we can't do anything with water right now. So, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, before I finish up this video, though, there's something I want to go and get back on Mount Krennel. Uh, which is very, very cool, I think. It's a very cool uh, thing. And we can get back to Mount Krennel uh, through the Trophy Highlands over here. Keep rocking and rolling. Next episode, I'll probably advance in the game. Now, uh, there's probably a few more Kinstone Fusions I can do. And I can definitely pick up a bunch of the rewards as well. But I'm, kinda, I'm just going to kind of try to save that uh, for later. Uh, there's also some fusions I have to do on this mountain with the with the Deku scrub. I'll probably do that this episode. Uh, I can do that right now, actually. The Deku scrub just over here. Let me pull out uh, the gush jar. I don't remember if I actually did this or not. I don't think I did. I think I wanted to save the Kinstone piece. Uh, but he's just right over in here. Oh. I don't want bombs. Maybe, did I do this already? I, it's possible I did. Let's just go in and out just just in case. Okay. Either the, either I did it already, or the game's like, yeah, this, you've already done someone else who gives the same reward or something. Anyway, let's uh, run out of time here, so let's try to do this real fast. Shouldn't take too long. It's just right up here. Let's keep on climbing up. Let's keep on going. I think we might have went over. No, I didn't go. I didn't show up over here because I was like, "There's no need to go in here." But in here is a bunch of these split panels, and we haven't really done anything with the split panels besides show off what they really do. When I first got the, the upgraded white sword, so basically you can use it to activate switches and whatnot. And there is a uh, sword master in here. And some treasure chests. 50 rupees. And. 50 rupees, so 100 rupees total. I don't know why I just put that in one treasure chest. Okay, I want to talk to you. There we go. He's a true sword. Uh, Grey Blade, he's the true sword master of Hyrule. Of course, I want to train here. So, in addition uh, to Swift Blade, uh, there's also uh, a bunch of other. Sword masters throughout Hyrule that will teach you moves. 
Yeah, we're probably just gonna end it here. He's gonna possess our body. Gray blade possession technique. Even though the other guy did the same thing. So yeah, we can do a slot, a roll, and a sword attack, which is pretty cool. There we go. You can also activate it like really fast, I think, without having to do what he said. I think you can like roll, roll, swing like right away, like. I swear you can. Maybe not. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching today's episode of Let's Play Minish Cap. And I'll see you next time for episode 14, where we will probably actually move on in the game. So until then, I've been Spec 33 See you later.